Hello, this is my first project using Raspberry Pi and it's about home automation. As you might know, I have this tablet which is uh, attached to the wall and I can control all my lights from, from, from this tablet. This is like a central place. But uh, the other thing that would really be nice is to be able to display the information gathered from all the sensors. Unfortunately, uh, with Xiaomi ecosystem, you can only get this info from the uh, Mi Home app. And uh, I want to display it on this tablet, which is using Square Home Launcher. And uh, I simply like it this way. So that's why I designed this page which displays uh, all the different sensors. There is gas density, there is smoke density, there are three uh, temperature sensor, uh, five temperature sensors, and there, there are two gateways and four motion sensors for the, uh, the time being. Uh, of course, I'll have uh, yet to add a door sensor. Of course, in order to do that, we need some uh, script or something that is uh, acquiring the gateway and uh, and collecting this information. So that's why Raspberry Pi is here. So we will connect to Pi. And uh, I wrote this script in Python. And uh, Python is a really great language. It's easy to, it's easy to, 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 to communicate and use it for all sorts of stuff. And uh, this is the script here, it's on the root, it's called HubPy. So um, if we take a look at the script, this is what it, what it, what it looks like. And uh, what this script does is basically it uh, tells the gateway, hey, I, I am subscribing to all the information. And then it is parsing information it receives from the gateway according to the uh, SID of the device. So each uh, device has its own uh, SID and then you can, you can uh, say if the device is temperature sensor in the living room, then do this. What basically it just resends the information it receives from the hub it resends it to the uh, tablet. Uh, so let's just see what it looks like when we run this script. I'll just write Python hub pi. So what you see right now is uh, info that it receives uh, from the gateway. The Pi is running the script and you can see what gateway is returning. Since all the devices are connected to the gateway, they have to report status. So the first line here is gateway. It's a heartbeat. You can see SM, uh, CMD, that's command. It's heartbeat and you can see it's IP address. And then uh, after that, there is uh, the address that we are sending the info to. And that's the address of the tablet on the wall, uh, 192, 168, 1200 on this port, uh, 8765. So that's, the, and in, in brackets afterwards you see the, the room. So the second uh, line is sensor motion. It's motion sensor and it reports the number of locks it measured, the, 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 the density of light. And the second line is the status whether there was a motion or not. So you see some more gateway heartbeats. Gateway is sending a heartbeat every couple of seconds. And the most lines are, are coming from the gateway's heartbeat. Uh, other devices that are connected to the electricity, like the wired hub, are also sending a, a heartbeat. But most of the other devices are not. For instance, temperature sensor is only sending a info when there has been a change in the temperature that is greater than uh, 0 0.2 degrees Celsius. So here you can see uh, weather V1, that's the temperature sensor, it reports temperature and humidity and pressure. And then you see motion sensor, 
it reports even the voltage of the battery. So as you can see, we, we are receiving all sorts of data from sensors, mostly motion sensors. If somebody's moving through the house, we can see this one, uh, uh, CTRL neutral. Uh, and that one is not being resent. You see, it's not being sent. That's probably a wired uh, Acura switch. We don't need information about it. But uh, as I told you, we're connecting info from all the temperature sensors and all motion sensors. And I have yet to do a uh, door. So I can display the status of the door, whether it's open or closed. Okay, so we can just uh, uh, end this script, and uh, I will, I will, um, I will just uh, run this script. Uh, run this script. as a service we'll check whether it's running started home hub python script so as you can see the script is running okay so now we will go to the tablet and see what okay. it does. So here's the tablet and, and uh, the, the thing that we will notice uh, are these uh, red dots that are blinking. What does it mean? Uh, so every time a gateway sends a, a heartbeat, I am displaying a green dot, which then turns to yellow and then turns to red. This is only indicator of how stale the data is. So if uh, the, the dot is red, it means it's the old data. If it's green, that means it's just received something. And if it's yellow, it's somewhere in between. So for gateway, uh, I uh, set it up to, to one second only, so you can see it's constantly blinking. For other sensors, uh, the, the timeout is uh, slightly larger. For instance, uh, it's like uh, a one minute for, for temperature sensors. So you can see we have uh, five temperature sensors and they're all green, which means the data is uh, newer than five minutes. If it's yellow, that means the data is older than five minutes. And if it's red, it means like old, uh, uh, 10 minutes old data. Uh, but the point is that you see the lights are blinking and it means that it's receiving information. Also, when, when there is movement uh, on the, the motion sensors, the sensors should uh, blink in red, this, uh, not the dot. You see uh, the sensors are showing uh, in, in seconds when they were last activated. So that means that, for instance, this sensor in the entry was activated 180 seconds ago. This is only approximate time. And it measured zero lux, which means that it's dark in there. So all of this was uh, made uh, using Tasker and uh, network plugin, which receives data, which we are forwarding from Raspberry Pi to this tablet. So now there, there is a way to display old data like this. And uh, the widgets themselves were made using Zoom, which is a tasker uh, add-on, which uh, allows you to make uh, different widgets on your home screen. So that's about it. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.